is Justin McIntyre, and I am the curator and maritime historian at the South Carolina Maritime Museum. I am Hope McFadden. I'm the administrator here at the South Carolina Maritime Museum. There was a, a group of local businessmen and women who were really interested in the maritime history of, of Georgetown in South Carolina. There was a, a festival, and a small part of it was um, wooden boat exhibits, and they were really passionate about that, and they kind of took it on board and um, grew it to become the Georgetown Wooden Boat Show with the, the idea that if they can get the profit, they'd like to open a maritime museum here in Georgetown. And it started down in the Chamber of Commerce building, just a, a one-room museum. And then in 2011, they finally uh, moved into here at 729 Front Street. And from there, we expanded in 2017. In 2017, they had the opportunity to um, purchase the entire building, thanks to a loan from the USDA Rural Development. And we were really fortunate to have um, really great patrons who would be opened in 2017. We had a fully formed exhibit upstairs with more models, more information, more artifacts to really um, expand the story of not only Georgetown's maritime history, but South Carolina's. Anytime we have a problem with the models, if maybe the rigging needs fixed, or we have a question about their history, you know, what uh, it took to, to build them, how much time, the material, then we'll reach out to Tom Boozer and Bill Brady. Uh, Bill's a local, local model maker. Tom is, uh, lives closer down in Charleston. The keystone of the museum is our fifth order Fresnel lens that's on display. It was originally in the Georgetown Lighthouse and we have it on long-term loan from the Coast Guard. That's sort of that centerpiece, though, of the museum, and folks really enjoy seeing the lens. In prior years, we've had exhibits on low country fossils, which was a lot of fun to do. Uh, we also had one on South Carolina's hurricanes. We've also had an exhibit on uh, steamboats. They used to go along in our harbor and um, up, the, up and down the rivers locally. We've also had one on the Miss Sherry, which was the real name of the Jenny Shrimp Boat from Forrest Gump. And that was a lot of fun. The museum itself has a number of, of programs, um, our History for Lunch program, which we bring in um, maritime experts that really um, talk on their, their knowledge and, and share, whether it be local or statewide or international information as it relates to water. We also have a youth sailing program, which is such a delight for us um, to have local kids and, and kids from all over really to come in for a week or two and experience and learn all about sailing on our waters. Um, we also just started a new boat building camp, which is really hands-on and uh, also like sailing a lifelong skill. The mission of the Maritime Museum is to preserve and promote our maritime history and heritage. And so the good thing about that is being able to reach out to the community and educate people on what makes Georgetown and South Carolina special. And with maritime history, there's a lot of components to it. And that's the nice thing about when we put together our exhibits and talk to people is that it involves economic history, you know, social history, um, which people might not think of. In Georgetown itself, in South Carolina, we're not in a bubble for maritime history. We're connected with Europe, we're connected with Africa, and so that's an interesting component that folks might not uh, think about. And so our goal is to get that out to people, and so visitors who are local here, they can take that back home. And we get a lot of folks from abroad, all 50 states and internationally. Um, and so they're able to take our stories back with them and share that. So it's spreading the knowledge. Our museum is still relatively young. So um, we've all been a part of watching it grow. 
the past um, 30 years for me, just the past five years. So it's, it's almost neat to be a part of seeing it succeed. And there's nothing more satisfying when someone visits our museum and makes a point to, to find me and be like, this is incredible. There's, I mean, there's nothing more satisfying and it's so rewarding and um, it, you know, makes the job all the better.